Well, now we're to the stage where we want to install the Garden Master's trellis system. And as we had mentioned earlier, the greenhouse framework is a part of the support structure. So it's an all-in-one rather than having two different types of support structures. And in doing that, you'll take out of your uh, kit the three turnbuckles, and there'll actually be six eye bolts, three in each end, turnbuckles only on one end. And uh, it's important that, that these are installed correctly because at some point you're, you're going to put a greenhouse cover on it and we don't want anything interfering in that. So you'll put these eye bolts on with just uh, about one and a half threads sticking out past the nut. So it, it'll be loose. Do not tighten it all the way down with the bolt sticking out because you just have to cut it off. Now you can put a drop of Loctite on each of these also. It keeps them from turning out. So that's where we'll be there. Then we'll put our center one in down below. Then I'll come around to this side. Now when you put your wiggle wire on, the wiggle wire itself, if you install these eye bolts correctly, will take the plastic cover out past the end of the bolt. So you won't get any uh, sharp bolt edges on the plastic because the wiggle wire will sit here and, uh, and it protects the plastic from that edge. So we have these three installed. We're going to put our turnbuckles on this end and just to have them in place, I'm going to go ahead and hang them on there. It's also important to be sure that you, when, when you get receive the turnbuckles, the bolts will be turned all the way in to the turnbuckle. Be sure to screw these out to where there, you have an open gap in here. There's no bolts inside there. Because when you put a little tension on it after the wire is strung, uh, you'll have some room to tighten it. There won't be a lot of tightening, but you'll have a little bit. We'll just let those hang there for now. So what we'll do next is we'll go ahead and install the three eye bolts on the other end of the greenhouse and then uh, we'll get ready to start cutting our pieces uh, for the trellis material itself and tying those pieces together. And then from there we'll show how you string that into the system and secure it. So we'll uh, get ready to do that next. Okay, now we're, we're preparing our trellis material. Uh, you lay it out flat, put a weight on each of the corners, and you're going to measure these to eight feet in length. And um, it'll tell you in the kit, depending on which cut type of kit you have online, it'll tell you how many of these you need to cut. Uh, we're doing a 16-footer, so we're cutting uh, four of these on this one. And our measurement is at eight feet. And I'm going to count one square past the eight foot and then halfway into the next one. Now it's important that you uh, stretch it out to cut it. If you try to cut it when it's folded in half, what happens sometimes is, is you'll, you'll start cutting in one square and end up in another one. So then you're going to have an uneven uh, pattern to begin with. Okay, you just repeat that process uh, for four of them, and now we'll get ready to show you how we tie these all together and prepare the big uh, net, so to speak, that we're going to install in the, in the greenhouse. So we'll get that ready, and we'll be back to you. Okay, folks, now we're going to show you how to tie these trellis material together. Very important 
that that you pay close attention, it'll save you a lot of grief on the other end. What we have is we're starting with the first two. This is the width, three feet, and we're tying them together on the long side. So we have that one there, this one on this side, and you want to be sure that you start with everything in the proper shape, nothing twisted. So we're, we're good right here. And you're going to stand between them and work your way back, just like you're closing a zipper. You're going to take these together, and if you've never learned a square knot, by the time you're finished here, you'll know how to tie one. We'll tie one up real quick here, and then show you how to finish it. Okay, pull on your top ones. Once you have your square knot in place, you want to lay the tips together and give that a good tug to lock that square knot in. Now I'm going to go to the next one. Maybe you can get a, a closer view of it here. And a square knot, I'm basically going to take the outside one, the one on your side, my outside, bring it up to it, take my thumb, I'm going to flip it around, okay? Then if you look real close, I will then take the one in my right hand, lay it over the top of the one in my left hand, and bring that one that I laid over up and underneath, pull it tight, lay the ears down, and pull them in so they're locked in. Do one more here. And you, you want to get them, initially start them about an inch and a quarter apart. Taking my right hand is underneath my left, my left thumb flips that one around. The one on my right now goes on top, under and through, pull it tight, grab the ears, everything together, pull them to lock them in. So you should stay pretty consistent on your spacing there if you continue in that, that mode. Over the top, up underneath. Let me tie one more and uh, we'll get a real close look at it so you can see what it looks like before I pull it tight. Do a little Boy Scout training. Okay, I don't know, are you able to see that real close? As you can see, on the square knot, the uh, ends come out on the same side of the loop. On this side, same thing. There's an end, this would be an end. They, they come out on the underside of the loop. This side, the opposite side, comes out on the top side of the loop. Then we're just going to pull that, the tails, and pull it together, and there we are. We'll complete, we'll go ahead and continue, we'll tie these four together. Okay, we weighted out the corners here to give you a little better perspective of, as, as to what this should look like. Uh, this material is a little unruly, uh, so it kind of goes every direction. That's why it's important that you pay real close attention to what you're tying together, or you might end up with a sweater or something afterwards. So this, this should give you a little better visual of what it looks like and, and what we're doing here and uh, what the end in mind is.